Van Ostelhansen, thank you very much for being with us at WPC TV. You're a professor of international relations at Carleton University in Ottawa, the capital of Canada. But I want to ask you a question about American foreign policy. How do you view it? I think uh, the United States, John, is experiencing a crisis of confidence among its key allies, and that includes its neighbors like Canada and Mexico in terms of its ability to lead, to uh, lead with uh, a strong, coherent uh, vision of, uh, uh, of how it sees the world, a very turbulent world, moving forward. Whether it's in the Middle East, Syria, uh, we've seen flip-flops. We've seen uh, a weak hand at the tiller when it comes to dealing with uh, uh, Russia and Vladimir Putin's incursions into Ukraine, when it comes to uh, the so-called pivot to Asia, it strikes many as more of a pirouette than a pivot. And uh, we're also, I think, worried as friends of the United States uh, about an America that has turned inward on itself, um, is preoccupied with, obviously, major domestic problems uh, and, and quite frankly doesn't seem all that interested in uh, not only its friends but dealing with major world issues. Is this a criticism of President Obama himself or is it a function also of a reaction to the, I suppose you could call it the activism or the maximalism of the George W. Bush years or is it also a function of you know, political gridlock? in Washington? I think it's uh, all three. I mean, gridlock, uh, uh, an intransigent Congress is a fact of life. I mean, w when you look back at uh, uh, some of the problems that you know Franklin Delano Roosevelt had to deal with when it came to uh, his Congress, uh, you know, the reality is in a division of powers, uh, uh, there are going to be difficulties, uh, particularly uh, if uh, uh, the party of the other side uh, dominates one or both houses in Congress. But I think, um, uh, I think the fundamental problem does lie in the White House, as Harry Truman said once, the buck stops here. And um, uh, the buck uh, does stop in the White House and quite frankly, uh, not a, lot, uh, a whole lot happens. Uh, when it, uh, when it lands and, and when problems land on the desk of, uh, of the president. He, he, uh, it's, it's said that he doesn't like to negotiate with Congress. Well, he doesn't seem to really be all that interested in negotiating uh, with, uh, with his friends uh, and friends that the United States needs uh, if it's going to be uh, an effective global player. Fellow Mr. Hampson, thank you very much indeed for that very sobering judgment on President Obama. Thank you. My pleasure, John.